Minnesota Fighting Vikings second year offensive lineman Ezra Cleveland has settled in nicely at the left guard position and just from the eyeball test this season uh, the Boise State alum has performed very well especially in the game against the Niners. Pro Football Focus backed that up as they tagged Ezra as the highest graded player for week 13 and 93.6. Not highest rated guard, not highest rated offensive lineman, not highest rated tall dudes from Boise State, highest rated player. Player? Also love how the national media jabronis have just discovered the better than Ezra puns that like we Vikings fans got them out of our system last year. Oh, he's good. But, hmm. And big respect to Ezra, man, because the transition from tackle to guard is not always easy, as evidenced by Ole Udo. And I'm sure that he was disappointed this year when the Vikings drafted Christian Derrissaw in the first round. Because if the Vikings didn't draft a left tackle high, or if they didn't sign, I don't know, Trent Williams or, or whatever, that Ezra would have a chance to be on the blind side. Didn't work out, but he sucked it up, and he's been a great teammate and been phenomenal, grinding, working, and just getting better at that left guard position for the Vikings. And the main concerns about him kicking inside were, his anchor. You, know, you have a light left tackle kicking inside that sometimes can be a recipe for disaster. Plus, he's too tall. Like Playing low with leverage inside, low man wins, and just the speed of the game going from outside to inside. All those things were concerns, but he's been solid, and he's been improving and thriving. And also, you notice that if the Vikings need to get a big-time running gain inside, they'll tend to go to the left behind Derisaw, behind Ezra Cleveland. I don't think that's an accident. I think that's going to be something uh, that's going to be in play for years to come for the Vikes. And the Vikings currently have three-fifths of a solid offensive line uh, locked up for the future with Christian Derrissaw, Ezra Cleveland, and Brian O'Neill. Maybe Y. Davis, a right guard down the line. And hell, maybe even Mason Cole. I You forget, he's only in his fourth season. His rookie contract is expiring. Uh, need to make it a priority to resign him this offseason. More on that later today. So I love that Ezra is getting some love from the national media jabroni haircuts, and it's great to see that left side of the offensive line with Derrissaw, Ezra, is is going to be locked up and good to go. Uh, wh whoever the quarterback's going to be. Kirk Cousins, Kellen Mond, rookie coming in, TBD, who, who really knows. But just fix the offensive line and then everything else. Oh, everything else just gets easier. Mm, good to see Ezra transitioning well. But uh, your thoughts on our thoughts. Ezra Cleveland, PFF's number one graded player for week 12. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Must support that work. Venmo, pay that man his money. But until next time, Skull, production value.